Hi everyone, it's Fjordström. The past two years we've been using Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Zoom and other similar apps uh, just to have online conferences or meetings. And we've actually come a very long way since the beginning of last year on iPadOS 13. Uh, back then it was really hard to use these things alongside with other apps without losing some functionality. But now on iPadOS 15, we have our first update for Google Meet, which now supports picture-in-picture -picture mode, which is super useful. Let's have a look. All right, now, first of all, we have our update version 75 of Google Meet. It doesn't include here picture in picture mode in the description, uh, nor is it here in the preview, but it does actually support it. So let's have a look here. Let's just open Google Meet and we'll create a new meeting. OK, so here I am in my meeting. I'm the only one right now, but I can copy the link or share the invite to somebody to just join me here in the meeting. Now, I won't do it right now, but normally you'd see here everyone that is in the meeting. Now, there's an icon over here with stars. If I tap on this, not sure if you've already seen this, but you can choose now a blur effect on your background or you can choose an image, which is useful if you want to really have a certain background. This is now green screen is turned on now. Um, or you could just blur it if you want as well. Now, you can also choose some other pictures, some animated videos, which is cool. So it's like you're in a spaceship right now. Or you can choose one of the very many backgrounds or even filters. So if you have like, uh, you know, if you want to be a frog, you could become a frog if you want. But this is something that has been available in Zoom already. So that's why I'm really happy that it's here now for those of you who want to use these things. What else do we have here? If you go to settings, now captions already existed before, but you can choose your language. I'm not sure how long it has existed already for different languages, but now it's just more than just English. Now let's get straight to the part, the part that is really new here, and that is picture in picture mode. And it's actually really quite easy. You just swipe away. And there you go. Now I'm here back on my home screen. I can see myself here and I can see that I'm all alone, but normally your uh, partner, your conversation partner will be here. So the person that is currently talking will appear here on the right side and you can see yourself. And this is super useful because from now on, let's say you can just open uh, notes and just create a meeting. Um, and there we go. And just annotating, annotating while you're still talking to the person. You can see yourself, you can see the person who you're talking to super useful and not only that you can also open like multiple apps without having to keep one window open with google meet so for example here i'll open music for a certain reason uh, then i'll open uh, let's say twitter there we go and if we could just open a quick note i wonder if that will be possible as well <laughs> yes it is so uh, this here I'm, i currently have here one two three four five floating windows right now and yeah this is just awesome. Uh, of course, I'd rather have like a bigger iPad. I'm dreaming of having a bigger iPad in the future, uh, but still I can now have five floating windows thanks to picture in picture mode here in Google Meet. So there we go. Uh, now Google Meet, oh yeah, that's by the way, you can move it all over if you want uh, into any corner. And as you saw, if we would open a certain window, it will automatically reposition itself. I thought it would See, there we go. So it does automatically reposition itself if needed. Can we zoom out and zoom in? Yeah, we can resize a little bit. Um, not as big as a movie, for example. Okay, now what about split screen? So that's also important. Split screen, there my, my camera's back. Uh, split screen is supported, of course, just in case you do want to have a bigger view here of Google Meet. And uh, if you leave the app, then, okay, then now the camera is gone. So that is something, see the camera was deactivated while I left. Uh, the split screen app. So in other words, if you want to have picture in picture mode, it's best to keep it in full screen so you can leave it then and do other stuff in the background. And just like with a movie, if I want, I can just hide this temporarily, do some stuff without seeing myself or the other person and I'm moving it back and then continuing with the call. And of course, uh, besides the camera that might shut off, you never know, it says it's still working, but I'm not really sure if it really is, but the microphone does work. That has already been like that for a while now. So it's not like you won't be able to hear anyone or not like your call will be interrupted. It still works. Uh, just the camera is something that is still unsure. But I'm really happy here that picture in picture mode exists now. Now that was Google Meet. Let's have a look at Teams. So this is how Teams works. Now in Teams, you also have these background effects. So that is really nice. Not as much choice as in Google Meet, uh, but you do have these options. Yeah, again, super useful, especially the blur part is something that I personally use. And also the generic background thing. I mean, my custom background 
for if I have to do something work related. The features here in Teams are kind of the same. So you can use uh, the chat, so you can share your screen, you can raise your hand and so on. Now, of course, in real life, you don't really have the choice which one you can really use. It will depend on the person you're talking to or to the company you're working at. Uh, but the difference right now, at least at point of recording right now today on November 14, 2021, is that there's no picture-in-picture -picture mode. So if I like swipe up, the meeting is really gone. Now, it's actually still going on here in the background. So you can see here my uh, microphone is still on and my camera is still active. I'm not, again, not really sure if it really is the case before this used to disappear. Let's say I'm kind of unsure right now if it's actually still working, uh, especially because you could see my avatar just a second ago, it did disappear, the camera at least did disappear so i'm not really sure if it will work uh, but still yeah that's something that would be cool if they would add picture in picture mode to teams as well now let me just have a look at zoom now all right so i'm here now in zoom and uh, here i have the same options i can uh, mute myself of course share content i can um choose my background let's have a look at the backgrounds here oh this is quite less i think yeah so here i have blur or three pictures what is cool here is literally having a green screen turned on or a background color you have let's say if you have like a pink wall behind you you could choose pink as the green screen so that is something that is cool though um, I used the green screen before here uh, for my videos very shortly but also for my uh, video conferencing and uh, this was an option that I did miss in the other apps now they do support uh, background blur but before they didn't filter this is uh, nice as well here you have quite a lot of options so you can choose one of these filters and it can apply to all meetings this is something of course that's very risky if you're switching from a uh, individual conversation with a friend to suddenly a meeting with colleagues or with someone higher up but what i kind of do is let me just zoom out Oop, there we go it's again Close. There's no picture-in-picture -picture mode. Uh, the camera and microphone is still turned on apparently, uh, but if I tap on this, I'm going back to my Zoom call. Um, yeah, but picture-in-picture -picture mode isn't here yet. I'm expecting though Zoom and uh, Microsoft Teams to add this in the future, hopefully near future, because this is something that I definitely can use. So this was a short video showing you the current options right now in Meet Teams and Zoom, especially uh, picture-in-picture -picture mode. Again, loving the update. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Or if you've discovered something new or you have any wishes, again, leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.